trying to ensure that my carry-on luggage I think it did exceed seven kilos it's close to 10 at one point so I just wanted to make sure that I got I didn't get fined so I just kept upgrading myself weight wise and then I finished up in the business lounge fair enough wasn't that expensive anyway well it was compared to the economy but about 100 and 160 bucks I think Australian hour and a half flight hour and 10 minutes I don't mind it's good and I This one's on, and uh, all I wanted was some extra weight in my carry-on, so anyway, here I am, it's good. Got a private limo to the air, aeroplane, and uh, got a few looks. So far, so good. Another limo, sorry, off the plane, first off the plane. Uh, it's a pretty quiet airport. We're going to see if I can find a ride. I'm outside now. No more VIP treatment. Got to get myself into the city. Shouldn't be too hard. Not many people here. Makes a break from, you know, Hanoi and Saigon airports. A bit more laid back here. See what happens. So far, so good. Got a ticket for 50k into the city. That'll do me. Well, no, off the bus. No windows on the bus, the aircon wasn't on and they couldn't open the vents. <laughs> it's alright here, it seems pretty flat. I think it's the coasters around here somewhere. And uh, I got a message and um, about four minutes from the hotel, thought I'd try and walk it. I just ran the gauntlet of the motorbike taxis, really nothing compared to some of the big cities, but sort of feel you should use their services, but it's nice to uh, it's nice to just walk for a while. I think it's a good training ground if you go to uh, Ho Chi Minh City or uh, Hanoi first. I'm only saying that of course because that's what I did, but it uh, seems like a breeze here now. I've been here all of three minutes. Anyway, I'll keep uh, marching on. Man, it's quite, there's a lot of these electric bikes around now. They were the same in Saigon and Hanoi. I mean, the benefit of the uh, motorbikes is that you can hear the motor. Petrol bikes, internal combustion bikes, is that you can hear the engine. I mean, there's a lot of horns, there's a hell of a lot of noise you've got to contend with. The electric bikes, and they're often ridden by very young people, children, I think they're called, and old people. I better get myself one. Well, they tend to be quite uh, cautious as well. They're a bit hard, they sneak up on you sometimes. This is possibly a pointless uh, chat I'm having here with the camera. I think I'll give up and keep walking. So I've got the backpack on the back. Got the 30 litre. That's all I need. As long as you've got cash, that is. Cash is king around these parts. The bus was, uh, had a lot of backpackers, uh, young people, French and English and whatever, and saying, oh, there's my hostel, there's my hostel. I'm sort of the, uh, the old man of the backpacking crew, I think. Well, sometimes I am. Sometimes I'm a flying business class. Other times I'm toughing it out in a bus. It's only one o'clock, two o'clock check-in time anyway, so. Well, I thought I was close, it uh, kept saying turn right, turn right. And obviously I ended up just going around the block. Oh, that's not right, so I turned the phone off, turned it back on again and sort of rebooted it. Now it's another, another K, another K and a half up here. I'm gonna try and keep walking it though. I think I found it. It's this laneway. It's good 40 odd minutes of walking there. I wanna 